Hello everyone, today I will be going over the zigzag conversion problem from leak code. The problem is asking if given a particular string and a number of rows, if we were to sort the characters in that string in a zigzag pattern going from top to bottom and bottom to top, once the characters have been uh, resorted if you were to read from left to right uh, then I'll put that new string so before we jump here into the implementation of the solution uh, let's see what options we have uh, in order to solve this uh, problem so we could either use a 2d array uh, to hold each character that we're going to be uh, saving However, if we were to use a 2D array, we'll have to use additional math in order to figure out the dimensions of the array. You could also use a list of lists, the, and the second list will hold the characters. Or we could use uh, a list of string builders. which makes the solution actually much easier to follow. So I'll go ahead and use that and I'll name my list of string builders. Yes, I'll just name the list. Now to solve the first sample, uh, we're given three rows. So I'll just say I have a string build builder zero, a string builder one, and a string builder two. And in order to append characters in the right string builder, uh, I will need to have uh, some sort of pointer. So I will just say if I had a pointer name in CR, which will say that first I'm going to be working with the string builder uh, index zero. And since we have to go in two different directions, uh, from top to bottom and bottom to up and the switch only happens when you're either at the very top or the very bottom uh, we're going to need to have a boolean uh, I'll just name it go down and I'll initialize it as false then once we have these two variables defined uh, once we iterate through each character from the given input then we can go ahead and add the current character to the current row that we're working on so we could say something like list that get current row and then you just append the character so once you have this you're gonna have to increment the row correct but remember that there's going to be a switch in direction once you're at the top and the bottom so we can say if current row equals to zero or the current row equals to the max index and then we're going to say that go down is going to be equal to its opposite. So it's going to be go down here. So if go down equals false, then uh, not go down, right? Not go down. It will give you true. And if it's true, it will give you false. So this will take care of the switch in direction. And you can have something like another conditional if statement if go down. Well, and then you uh, increase the current row. Uh, otherwise, uh, the current row gets decreased. So now that we have a rough idea as to what we're going to do, uh, we can go ahead and start implementing the solution. And we can say we have a list of string builder. Call it list. And now, as we said, we need to initialize 
as many stream builders as the number of rows that were provided. So we can say for int i equals zero, i less than the number of rows, i plus plus. And then we can initialize each uh, stream builder. So now we're ready to iterate through each of the characters in the provided string. And for that, we can say we have another for loop. And you can say we have character C in S to char array. And like I said in the explanation, we can just grab the first, uh, forgot to put the pointers here. Uh, let's say CR equals to zero and Boolean go down equals to false. And now we get the stream builder at the current at CR or current row and we will append the current character. So next uh, we need to see uh, what the value of CR is if we are at the top then we need to go downwards. If we're at the, uh, the very bottom, then we need to start going upwards. So we can say if CR equals equals zero or CR equals equals to the number of rows minus one, because I'll get you the last index, then go down equals to not go down. So the opposite of the current value. Now you can have if you're going downwards, then uh, CR gets increased. Otherwise, uh, CR gets decreased. So that this part of the code will get you the this uh, sorted order, and now you need to uh, combine them all into the final string. So for that, we're going to have to iterate through. The string builders, I'm gonna say for string builder sp in the list. And we're gonna create a variable here outside of it that says answer. I'm gonna say answer plus or e plus equals uh, to sp to string. And we're gonna return the answer. Okay, before we run the sample test cases, there is one edge case that we haven't mentioned. Uh, and that is if the number of rows is equal to one. So if the number of rows equals to one, there's no need to perform any of the operations below. So, and you can just return the input, right? So you can say if number of rows equals to one, then just return S. And now if we run the sample test case, we can see that they pass and if we submit it, we can see that all test cases have passed. So I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching.